Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a client portal for your customers so they can manage their subscriptions and their profile. So for this, you will log in into your Pabli subscription billing account and click on settings and then client model settings. So if you have never set a client portal before, you'll see a similar screen to what I'm at right now. So you'll have to set the client portal name, we'll set the portal background image. I'll show you where this image is going to appear. But before setting up the client portal, we'll go into profile settings to make some changes if required because these details like the support email address and the company name are gonna appear in the client portal to your customers. So if you want your customers to contact on a different email, you can change the email address from here because this is gonna appear in the client portal. Then the company name and the address will be also visible in the client portal to your customers. Then we have some advanced settings. We'll click on this to see that what are these settings. So we have, we can change the organization logo and the favicon image. So favicon is this image, which is on the tab and we can change this as well. And the time zone and the date format we can select. And we have company ID, website and text ID. So these are for our reference. It is not gonna be shown to our customers. So we'll quickly make the changes. Like I want to keep the support email same as my registered email address, but I want to add some organ organization logo and five account image. So I'll quickly upload this, click on this upload button and find my file, which I want to put. And this is supposed to be my organization logo and I'll quickly add the five account image. So this is going to be same as my organization logo and we are done. Now we have to select the email address. So I'll select my time zone. It is LA California and the date format is correct. I want to have this date format. Then the company website, company ID, tax ID. This is for our reference. So we can set this, but for now I'll leave it blank and I'll hit on update profile. So my profile can get updated. Okay. So we are done with this and we'll go back to the client portal and set our client portal. So we have to select our portal name and then we can select the portal background image and select the default name language for our client portal. So my portal name would be be customer portal. So after adding the portal name, we have to select the portal background image. I want to keep the portal background image as same as my organization logo. So I'll upload the same image and we can offer four languages to our customers. You can offer them any of it. And then there are some additional settings like, you know, do we want to allow client portal for all of our users, like all our customers? If yes, then you can select enable. And if you want to allow, can allow your customers to cancel their subscription, then you can choose to enable this. And there are some additional settings here, like allowing immediate cancellations of subscription, allowing customers to edit their profile. Allow customers to upgrade, downgrade their subscription, allow customer to change their portal password. So this totally depends on you. How much access do you want to give to your customers? So for now I will choose immediate. So I'll allow my customer to cancel their subscription, but I do not want them to immediately cancel their subscription. And I want them to edit their profile and they can add edit the subscription as well and they can change their password. It depends on them. Now we'll submit this so our client portal can be created. Portal name already exists. So we have to choose a different portal name. So my client portal name could be entertainment customer portal, entertainment customer portal. And so this is the name that I want to choose because the previous username is already taken and we'll submit this. So profile portal successfully updated and the client portal login URL has been generated for us by Pabli. And you can share this URL with your customers so they can log in into their client portal and manage their subscriptions and details. So the background image is here, the organization logo is here and our favicon image is there. So there is one important thing to remember that whenever your customer is logging into the client portal for the first time, they'll have to reset the password by clicking forget password button. They'll write their email address here and click on reset. So they'll get a link on their email address to reset the password. And once they are done with resetting the password, they can use the email and the new password to log into the client portal. So I'm going to show you how the client portal looks like when we are gone, when we are logged in by using a email address and a password.
and we are logged in so this is what your customer is gonna see your support email address your store's name your merchant name basically and your address and then they'll have their own details like their card number their subscriptions which are active cancelled and all the invoices that have been generated for these customers and the transactions that they have done and also this client portal is going to act like their affiliate portal through which they can get the affiliates li affiliate links that you have generated and if you do not know how to set up the affiliate link we have a different video on that you can go through that for explanation and this section is going to cover all the details related to this customer if, if they are your affiliate then they can set their profile settings and their payment settings they can remove their card or add a new card so this is how you set up a client portal in pavli subscription billing but if you have any questions let us know at admin at the rate thanks for watching